Howdy folks, welcome to Out of War. It's described on the Steam store as a casual heavy equipment experience. And uh, you can do mining and moving dirt and rock and stuff like that. So we're gonna start a playthrough and we'll just see how it goes. There's several maps here. We've got uh, the tutorial map and this will walk you through some of the basic game options, which I've already done. Uh, we've got Forest Quarry which kind of has a start to a quarry area on it. Uh, we've got Quarry Hilly, which is a new map with a new update that just came out. And if you watched a recent live stream, we were playing on that map. Uh, we've got Forest Hills, which is just what it sounds like. Very hilly. Um, I've been doing some test runs on that map. And then we've got Forest Flat, which we're going to be playing on. We have Arctic Winter, which I have not checked into yet. But we're going to be doing Forest Flat. And you could do a default or creative. We're going to do a default mode where we have to earn money to buy equipment. And let's get started. Doesn't take too long to load. Now, I had initially thought I would be buying the best wheel loader and starting with that because it's so good. But I think what I'm going to do is actually start small and not have to borrow, you know, any more money than we have to. Turn that off. So I had scouted a place. I think it's over here. Yeah. You see that dark patch over there right above my head? That's where we're going to start. So you can notice as we run along here, there's darker patches on the ground. That means there's ore of some kind underneath there. I think we'll start over here. There's a good bit of stuff around. So how do we dig? Well... We can dig with the pickaxe. We don't get any material that way. So we need to dig with equipment. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We don't have any money to begin with. So we have to borrow from the bank. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set the time of day to kind of morning and then I'm gonna change the length. To be really long. And I'm gonna make sure it's set on clear sky. The weather will change randomly. I don't know of any way to make it stop. Um, the weather's cool. I've noticed some sound glitches occasionally with the rain. So if it starts doing that, we'll just reset it to clear skies. But anywho, let's go. Take a quick look through the menus here. We do have excavators, wheel loaders, dozers, dumpers, compactor, graders, a couple trucks, trailer, and then the underground mining equipment. Now we're going to start out, I think, with a wheel loader. And all these are they're pretty much the same except for power and bucket size. So which one is the cheapest? Probably the LW200 at 358. So we're going to start with the cheapest one. We pull the info up here. Uh, it's 20 metric tons, 200 horsepower. It's got a 5 ton bucket on it. And you can change paint 1, 2, 3 and the wheels on it. Which we'll probably do as we get some money. So we're going to add one of those. Now we're going to need some basic production stuff uh, just to get started. I think I want to do is buy to the concrete blocks. What's, those are 180. You might, might have to do wood blocks. Can't drive on those very well. Might do some wood floor and some wood blocks would be cheaper. I want to have a little bit of a flat area. I don't know how many of these I'm going to need, so let's, let's get like 30 of each. Build our production area on. And then we come out here, we've got all kinds of conveyors and whatnot. Now the one thing we really need to get started here is a hopper to dump into. So we need one of those. Now I don't think we're going to have any pay dirt. I think we're just going to have... Um, or and possibly rock but really all we need to get started is a hopper and storage so we're just going to start with those two and we'll see what we start pulling out of the ground if we start getting rock we might want to get a crusher and some other stuff uh, but this should let us get started making money so we need three hundred ninety one thousand dollars so let's come over here to the bank and it's 30 percent interest so it's pretty steep 
and it, it takes that immediately. So you can see our debt here is more than what we have in dollars. Or I forgot what I needed, 391. Three, okay, that'll do. Check out. Back over here to inventory. I'm gonna stick my money there. Just gonna move some of the stuff around here real quick. Now I want to kind of build a production area down here where it's a little bit flat. We're going to be digging into that ground there. And let's see, I think I'll start with a floor. I'll have to do a little bit of driving, but. Is that floating in the air? No, that's pretty much on the ground. Okay, that's what I wanted. So the building system is a little goofy. So now I can snap this, and I want it, yeah, I want it to go in that direction. And you don't have to have uh, these wooden things down to put things on. I just think it looks better. And, oh, I forgot the angled. I want the angled roof pieces as well. And it'll just make it easier to drive up here and dump if we have a little bit of a platform, but you don't have to do this. At one more row here. And then to sell, we need a we need a storage container. So we're just gonna basically dump everything in this hopper and it's going to go right into the storage and then we can adjust from there as needed but let's go back over to wood i need some of these wood roofs i think i need about 10 of those and then we still got a little bit of cash left and what i'm going to do is make like a, a back can go to first person too. Sometimes it's easier to build in first person. Just be like a backstop just to help us as we're dumping in. And yeah, we're going to clip into our storage a little bit. Here, do that. And I'm up in the hopper. <laughs> there we go. I guess I only needed eight. And then to bring our uh, equipment in, it gets airdropped by helicopter. There we go. It's our first piece of equipment. And parking brake off. Now we can start digging. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of this little tree over here. Just so it's not in the way. And now you can upgrade these vehicles with different tires, paints, and various types of lights. Probably do that at some point. Get rid of that tree. So the terrain is voxel based, and you can dig into that. You'll kind of see how that works here in just a second. Uh, it turns into like little, little balls of stuff as you dig. So that lets you scoop. You can see we're already into something there. I'm not sure if that's gravel or what that is. I'm still learning the textures. Then if you drop these on the ground, they will re-solidify into voxels. So it's pretty neat. You can actually move material around. It is a lot bumpier over here than I anticipated. We didn't get a very good scoop, but let's just see what we got here. Uh, there are various controller options. You can use like an Xbox controller, joysticks, mouse, keyboard. Yeah, it's just dirt and ooh, it's lithium. Okay, good. So that'd be some good, some good ore. Then we could just sell right out of that container. If it was rock or you know pay dirt or something, we'd have to do some more processing. But we don't really need to do any processing on this. We can just dig it right out of the ground, and sell it. It's one reason I'm starting here, because it's easy to get started. 
There we go. Had a lot better scoop that time. So you can see there it re solidifies back into the voxels. And then there's kind of a dirt lock system which keeps most of it in the bucket, although you can see some of it's bouncing around. There's all kinds of little divots in the ground. I did not notice that. I might have to take my pickaxe and smooth that out a little bit. Can't really afford a compactor right now. I think the compactor would make short work of that. So that first scoop we had wasn't very good. Uh, but that one was. So I should put on the I should put on the parking brake. So let's see what we got. It's still coming through from the hopper. It processes so many of these per second. So what did we get from basically a scoop and a half? Three and a half grand. There we go. Not too bad. So that's going to be what we're doing here for a while. Scooping stuff out of the ground and selling it. So I wonder, let me see. So if I get my pickaxe selected, the default action is to smooth. Just smooth some of this out. I don't know if you can tell with the YouTube compression that this is changing the ground a little bit. If we can just smooth that out a little bit. That'll help us as we drive back and forth. It is really bumpy. You see I dropped a piece there, so it turned back into dirt. Smooth that out. Alright, let's give that a whirl. Another thing you could do is you could start with an excavator and just like dig in place and rotate around, up in the hopper if it was up close. But I kinda like the wheel loaders. Um, if I had a dual joystick set up, the excavator would probably be easy to use, but with the mouse and keyboard, it's a little awkward. Let's come in here and get another scoop. And I like I like the scooping and the the material mechanics. It works pretty well. You really feel like you're digging in and getting a load of something. There we go. That's a lot smoother now. We've smoothed out the ground a little bit. I don't think there's any higher gears on the vehicles. They all just kind of have one speed. But this game is being actively developed. There's going to be an update coming out in a few weeks. I think August 6th. It's going to have uh, open pit mining equipment. As well as some other changes. So it'll be changing probably even through the series here as we progress. I just got started on this latest update, 0 0.15. What I understand, it changed the controls pretty drastically. For the better. Woo, there we go. <laughs> Get that scoop. So I'm going to get, uh, let's get another scoop in there and see if we have enough money. I'm going to change the tires on this. The, uh, the chain tires just have so much better grip for this kind of terrain. If you're on rock, there's rock tires that are a lot grippier on rock. I was using those on the uh, live stream last night. All right, let's put our parking brake on. And we also need to buy, uh, some fuel here at some point. Dirt's not worth much, but worth a little bit. Yeah, we've got enough for some tires. Parts, wheels, and we want the chained tire. And I'm going to splurge and get the Dora Farms orange here. If anybody's been around the channel for a long time, you'll remember Fedora Farms orange <laughs> from... Some of my older farming simulator series. And yeah, I can hear the sound glitching out a little bit, so let's just reset that to clear sky. I don't know why it started doing that. It didn't do that when I first started playing. Uh, let's see, let's move. So we need to go to inventory. 
this out a bit. And then if, when you're in a vehicle, you have vehicle options and you can change stuff out over here. So let's change that to orange. And yeah, maybe I'll keep that black. That actually looks pretty good. We'll keep that black, but we're gonna change out the tires for these chain tires. And I'll just save the orange paint for a future vehicle. My whole fleet will be this color eventually. And we can sell this back for a little bit of money. The uh, default stuff. Yep, parking brakes active. So as we get to digging, these tires will be more and more handy. I don't know how deep this vein goes. So let's start angling in a little bit here. It's not quite as drastic of a drop. And you can really shape the uh, ground. I like it. So if this looks like your kind of game, go check it out on Steam. It's really cheap. I think it's $12.99 US. It's not very expensive. And it's, it's pretty detailed. And they're adding to it all the time. There's a Discord where there's a pretty active community. Let's get a few more scoops and then we'll get a, a fuel tank bot. A little bit crooked there. We get down to this ore. We're still just kind of in mixed dirt. But we're getting some, some good stuff too. Making cash. If I wanted to spend the money, I could make you know, like big elaborate conveyor systems. But I wanted to start small on this series and we'll just we'll work our way up. I want to get that bank loan paid off. Hop out here. Fairly level. It shouldn't roll very far. And we got a little bit of platinum and some magnetite as well. So we got some other stuff. And if we start getting rock, if we hit rock, we'll have to uh, either blast it or break it up with some kind of hammer tool, which we don't have. And then we can crush that and get stuff out of it. Let's sell that. See it? Oh, it's shift to move half. So let's let's leave a little bit of money. But I wanted to show you. So to pay back, you just you can keep your stuff in the bank vault and then you can deposit. So we got four hundred grand in debt. Now we got three eighty nine in debt. Voice is a little rough today. We've had a lot of storms moving through and weather changing. So we have... Yeah, we need a little bit... Let's get uh, another scoop. Another scoop or two and we'll have enough to get a fuel tank. Because we're going to be... It's going to warn me here in a little bit that we're low on fuel. I think this was a six ton bucket. Of course, there's bigger wheel loaders we can get. I think they go up to eight ton. Get on out. There you go. Get another scoop. Let's see if we can get down into that good pay dirt. Not pay dirt. Good ore. A bit off. Let me get down in my channel here. I need to widen out my channel. Yeah, 
There we go. That's a, that's about as good of a scoop as you can get. It's a size bucket. Just pause a little bit. Let it let it lock in. It's got like an auto auto lock. If you move right away. It'll knock a lot of that out. We may still drop a piece here or there. I am using mouse and keyboard, so my steering isn't super smooth. But it's not too bad. This is default control setup. The only thing I changed was I inverted the uh, the uh, arm up and down to match my farm sim muscle memory. I have a lot of muscle memory from using front front end loaders on uh, farm sim. Other than that, it's set up as default controls. All right, let's get this scoop put in and then we'll see if we can afford a fuel tank. I think that'll be a, a good first episode. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm recording this on Saturday as I'm getting ready to leave town for a few days. I'm not, I don't think I'll have time to get it edited and uploaded. I'm not sure when you'll see this. <laughs> But uh, yeah, always, always welcome for f feedback. I don't know how much of all the work you guys want to see. And uh, there is a time lapse option in the game that I need to explore. I'm not sure how that works. But it does have a built in facility for making time lapses. Yeah, we got enough for uh, fuel now. So if we go to buildings fuel, we buy a fuel station. There's also a fuel truck. Uh, but it's like a quarter million dollars, so <laughs> we're not going to be getting that one. We'll put a fuel station down. And I probably want to buy a few more of these guys. Buildings, wood. more of those we'll just we'll stick our fuel tank over here kind of out of the way I remember how big it is I think it's about the same size as the storage unit yeah so the advantage of having floors it'll snap so you can keep things kind of aligned to snap in the right place here snap there but not over here huh Okay, let's put another one more layer down. There we go. It's a little more out of the way. I didn't want it right up next to the uh, where we're loading. Another row right here just so we can walk around it easily. Oh, that's all of our stuff. All right. Fair enough. Let's go take a look at where we were digging here. You can see the ore kind of comes out to here. If I bring my pickaxe over, we can dig down with the pickaxe as well. But you don't get any material doing it this way. I kind of wanted to start like a wall here. Possibly as like a guide. Because we'll be digging down in this. So this will be like a retaining wall. Um, there is cave-in mechanics, but I'm, I'm, I think it's only overhead, like if you're underground. So some of the stuff I'm doing like this will just be for, it's just for looks. You don't necessarily need this as a game mechanic. But yeah, we'll just have a little retaining wall there. So that's it for the first episode. We're getting some weird sound glitches again. There's lots of different kinds of weather. And yeah, I don't know why it, it started glitching. So we'll make it clear skies. <laughs>
That's it for episode one. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. How much do you want to see? Uh, we'll keep digging here for another episode or two. And I'll look into how the time lapse works. There is somewhere in here, there's a time lapse option. So thanks for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Fuel Station 5000.